Welcome to our daily word this morning, daily word number 818, as we begin our long journey, continue, not begin, I guess, continue our long journey this morning. It's Thursday morning. It's a bright, sunny morning. I'm glad you could join me, as always, for our time together and our continued conversation through scripture. Appreciate that you carve out time to be with me in the busyness of all of our lives as we move forward together. Yesterday we had a great lunch here at church. I can still smell it actually in the building. Turkey and dressing and mashed potatoes and noodles and sweet potatoes and corn and potato salad and cranberry stuff, pumpkin pie, pecan pie, lemonade, water, coffee, and importantly, great conversation around the table. So I listened to them all, tried to make my way to talk to everybody. I don't think I did a very good job, but, but I tried. And the good news is that people got to take stuff home. And folks said that this would be their Thanksgiving dinner, but they had food to take home for a meal or two in the days to come. That's good news. And that's, to me, what sharing our lives is about as well. Um, we do it here, we do it on Sunday morning, of course, and in other ways, but we do it around the table, and that's such an important thing. So if you missed it, join us next time, because it was a great conversation time and just great sharing in food. So I've chosen for this morning scripture from Psalm 90, verses 1 through 2, v verse 4, and verse 12. And we hear these words, Lord... You have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. Before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the whole world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. A thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by, or like a watch in the night. <clears throat> Teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. I was thinking about our conversations around the tables yesterday and in preparing food and then in cleaning up afterwards. And at the particular table that I was at, there were five of us and one of our friends at the table had just had the funeral of his sister. And so we were talking about that and then we were talking about folks who've gone before us, people we have in common. I didn't know of the relationships they had with some former members. And we were talking about people and we shook our head and we laughed at, at the conversations around them. And I think about all the people you know, who used to come to these lunches. Um, I remember one person, she'd come all the time, but she couldn't eat onions. So every time we had a meal, I would prepare her separate because she couldn't eat onions. And, you know, some people can't eat peppers and, and the list goes on and on. Some people don't like turkey. I get that. Well, I don't get it, but some people don't like turkey. Some people stay away because we have turkey. Some people try to bite. I'm proud of, I'm proud of you for trying to bite. You know who you are. But I, I think about all that conversation and all the folks who've been part of these lunches with the pastor over the last 11 plus years who, who gather around the table. And this scripture kind of jumps out at me in those conversations. God who's been our dwelling place through all generations, before the mountains are brought forth, before the world was formed from everlasting to everlasting, God is God. A thousand ages in your sight are like a day that has just gone by. How quickly time flies by. I got here early yesterday morning to get my turkey in the oven and to get it going. And, you know, from seven o'clock to noon, that went really fast and preparing all the stuff and trying to make sure that it got timed out in the right way. Such important things. A thousand years in God's sight are like a day gone by. I think about 
holding my life up, holding our lives up to the timeline of all those who've gone before us, to reckon our days, to think about what's important for us. And you know, it, when we do that, it makes our timeline seem very small. And it makes God, who stretches this timeline from everlasting to everlasting, very large. Salma says that we should number our days to count each one as precious, knowing that our days are long, but maybe our days are short. But we know that the earth, all that we have, all that we are, belongs to God. And, you know, I, I just continue to think about the conversations yesterday and how enjoyable it was and, and sharing secrets of how to cook a turkey and sharing recipes about things and, and just saying, look, this will be our Thanksgiving. Thank you for this meal. And we're taking this home with us. Thank you for this. I posted on my personal page today, you know, when you have more than enough, you should build a larger table. I think we, we do the best in numbering our days, in sharing God's timeline from everlasting to everlasting, when we do just that. When we take the abundance of what we have, love, food, mercy, money, grace, whatever it is, and we choose to share it with those around us. All of that yesterday gave me great joy. All of it did. I love, I love cooking. I love doing all of that. It's fun for me. It's a gift, I think, that I can share. But when I heard the conversations of people saying to me, or taking this home, these leftover containers, and we, we have those on purpose. You know, we have a bunch of them on purpose because of the gift of God that's from everlasting that continues to be shared. So teach us to number our days, Scripture says. And then it says this, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Gain a heart of wisdom. I'm not as wise as I should be, I know, most days. But the recognition that God helps us gain wisdom is a gift that we've been given. So thanks for joining me. That's our word for today. Uh, a little sentimental about all of that maybe. But uh, thanks for hearing me. Thanks for being a part of my life. Um, thanks for following me along this life's journey, even when I don't get it right, um, and helping us to move forward. So know of God's love that surrounds you, know of my love for you, and I will see you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Have a great day.